This is my dad, and he's gonna walk us through how to make mozzarella. This is the curd. Before I put it in the hot water, and then we're gonna start working on it. This is loosening up, loosening up the curd. We're gonna let it. We're gonna let it. We're gonna let it soak, and then we're gonna work it. Gotta wait a few minutes, let it get soft, and then we will work it with the boiling water. Now we're gonna drain this water. We're gonna stop with it. With the spoon, we drain the water. What do you think? We having fun? Yes. And what are we making? Say it loud. Yes. All right. And we gotta loosen it up a little bit before we put the hot water. Then we wipe our hands and we're gonna transfer the hot boil of water. And, and you always gotta go around. Never put it in the middle. See that? Like, buddy. Is that no cheesy? It's making up. Yes, I'm making the mozzarella. Now this, we gotta get it nice and soft. It's gotta feel like silk. Say, so it gotta feel like silk. It gotta feel like silk. Silk. Okay. We're gonna put it. It's very hot. Watch, watch, look at, look at the cheese, buddy. Are you tired? Yeah. You wanna to touch boiling water? No, it's very hot. You got a little soft hands, you can touch this. Whoa, a big. <laughs> yeah, this is a big mozzarella. Wow. You wanna make bocconcini? Yeah. It's a bocconcini. Yes. You want to hear a funny story, buddy? When Daddy used to work with Grandpa, every time Grandpa did this in the morning, Grandpa would make me one bocconcini. And he used to tell me this. He used to say, this is going to give you cacarella. Can you say cacarella? Cacarella. <laughs> <laughs> Not mozzarella, cacarella. <laughs> cacarella. Yes. <laughs> now, after we make the, the cheese, we put it in the salt water. You used to call it salamoya. Now I remember you call it salamastra. A salamastra when it's too salty. Oh. It's salamora, not salamoya. Matter of fact, somebody should set it up the salamora in there. Little one. You want me to make the little one? Yeah. That's the little one, the bocconcino. That's a bocconcino, right? Okay. Let's make more. Yeah. We're gonna make this one here. It's a big one. This is a big one. See? 
and it's gonna look like silk. See there? And then Easy. we make smooth. We make the head on top, and we make it fancy, like a duck. A duck? What does a duck say? Quack quack. Quack quack. <laughs> what about we make a trencher? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know what that is, buddy? That's just like a braid, same braid. Braid? Yeah. What's that? That's salt water. Why? To make flavor for the mozzarella. Is that Here, mozzarella? Look. This is how you make a trecho, look. See that? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Then we make one more trecho, okay? What do you call it? Trecho. Trecho, right. I want to make a whole mac and cheese. <laughs> you want to make mac and cheese? Yeah. No, this is mozzarella and cheese. See, this is a small trecho. See that? Do you like it? And guess what we gotta make now? Yeah. Little bocconcino? Yeah. Okay. something special. A little... Put it in here. No, I gotta make a little treasure for you. Okay? A little, little one, okay? This is gonna be special for you. Uh -oh. You think I could do it? Yeah! Okay. I'm glad you got a lot of confidence in me. It's a little one because you're little, right? <laughs> See, that's a little one. You want to hold it in your hands? Yeah. All right, move this, take this out. Take this out. Okay. Hold it in your hands. Let, 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 let Daddy t open your hand and let Daddy take a picture. Good boy. <laughs> second batch. This we're gonna make, we're gonna stretch it, and we're gonna make mozzarella prosciutto roll and pepperoni roll. I also brought some uh, homegrown fresh basil that we're gonna put some with the mozzarella. I just picked it this morning just to bring it to Jerry's house and we're gonna roll it with the mozzarella also. Why? Not just with the mozzarella, with everything that I prepare. 
if I prepare sausages or if I prepare any type of foods, the second batch is always more flavorful, more tasty. Because you're warmed up, all your uh, muscles are ready to go and you're into this uh, routine of making it. I'm taking my time nice and slow to stretch it, to make it become nice and soft, and to make it feel like silk. I never do anything by time, I always do by feel, especially mozzarella. And also when you make mozzarella, I don't use gloves. The feel of the fingers, that's the way I know when the curd is stretched properly, the way it looks, and the texture of the curd. When you wear gloves, you cannot feel that nice, silky look of the mozzarella. Couple more small mozzarella. That's kind of like how the pre-packaged ones in the supermarket come. Okay. Ah, that's very uh, tradition. Make sure that you don't eat the little treasure that I made for Noah. Matter of fact, I make him another one for my grandson because I love him too much. And my nephew Bobby just arrived. This is a little braid. We make one for Celeste. <laughs> Not like this, you don't. Know. And we're gonna make one for Noah, okay? Oh, look at that, nice. I'm gonna make one more. Look at that, see that? Would you like one? After when it's ready, we're gonna let you eat it, okay? Yummy! You like fresh mozzarella? They're special for my grand grandies. Wow, he does that really fast and good, huh? You know how to make a braid like that? I know how to make a braid. Good girl. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Whose roll came out better? See if I still have the magic touch. Mmm, just perfect. Unbelievable. Like father, like son. Happy Father's Day. What do you think? We need to try this. I think so. All right. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set mine up. We'll do a little bit of this, 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 a little bit of this. There's pits in the black olives. Okay. You watch your teeth. And. And a little bit of this. All right. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs>